welcome back, Master Reen. Hey there, Sharon. I hope the sudden shower didn't catch you too. Would you like me to fetch you a dry change of clothes? Nah, I'll survive. Thanks to your warning this morning, I'm amazed you were able to tell a storm was coming that far. <laughs> Chairman Arena takes a lot of business trips. Never being caught unawares is just one of the maids. I can't really picture any other maids holding themselves. I'll let you know when dinner is ready. I expect the meal will take a little longer to prepare. Oh? How come? Well, with two new residents in the dormitory, I thought I might make tonight's dinner a little fancier than usual. Really? That sounds like a great idea. Anything I can help you with for? Oh, could you? I'm actually short a few ingredients. I'd be happy to run to the market for you then. It's still coming down out there. Might as well go back out while I'm still damp. Don't worry about me. <laughs> well, I'd be happy to take you up on your kind offer. Here's a list of everything I'd like you to buy. That should be exactly enough merit to cover the expense. All right. I'll be back soon then. <laughs> take care out there. Looks like the rain must have stopped. It's gotten pretty dark out, too. Oh, hello. Oh. You wouldn't happen to be one of the Class 7 students from Thor, out for a little late-night shopping? You could say that, but how did you know I'm... <laughs> You're one of the favorite topics at our radio station. There are plenty of people out there who want to know more about Thor's dashing guys... Oh, you work at the radio station? Hold on. Your voice sounds so familiar. Oh, maybe you know me from the radio? Good evening, everyone. This summer's turning into a real scorcher, isn't it? To beat the heat, we're going to be broadcasting tonight. <laughs> Ring any bells? Wait. Huh? Y you're Misty? From... Bingo. You must be quite the avid listener. Glad to know I've got a faithful fan out there. Wow. I never figured I'd meet Misty herself. <laughs> I always make sure to catch up in time. <laughs> Thanks. But it sure is serendipitous, you know? Ooh, maybe I shouldn't mention this on tonight's show. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that I really constitute a noteworthy topic. It's kind of weird. I only know her from oven time. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're staring at me so intently. Um, well, forgive me if this isn't actually our first meeting, is it? In a hotel in Heimdall. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it. I never figured anyone would actually catch on. So you really are her, the Azure Diva herself. Vita right you are once again. Honestly, even the people I work with at the radio station don't seem to have noticed. That makes two of us. I almost didn't say anything, but if you don't mind me asking, how did a star like you end up working at... <laughs> It's just a little something I do for fun on the side. The best part is, the people at the Opera House in Heimdall have no idea I come here to do- So don't go telling anyone, okay? Uh, of course. I'm amazed no one else has figured it out, though. Well, there's a little trick to it. <laughs> You're not the only one who was surprised, though. Huh? I had this feeling I'd seen you before, but it's you, isn't it? Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two. Would... She smells like fragrance really suits her. So Vita Clotilde herself has been hosting a radio show in Trista. Oh, hey there, Emma. Yeah, I just returned a short while ago. Were you out shopping? Yeah, Sharon asked me to go out and pick up a few things for dinner, though I ended up taking a bit longer than I expected. Wait, do I smell lavender? This is perfume, isn't it? Oh, right. She did get pretty close. Um, Reen, I can only hope the reason you ended up taking longer than expected isn't because you were... Whoa, 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 hold on. I just happened to bump into someone I know while I was out. Nothing scandalous. <laughs> I never said it was. Though you do seem strangely defensive. Huh, 
I wonder what would happen if Elise and the other girls were to catch- I swear, I just ran into someone I know. You just like raking me over the coals, don't you? <laughs> Master Reed, were you able to get everything I asked for? Sh sure did. La huh. No, that's impossible. So, the West Samaria Trade Conference is just over a week. Building that tall is exactly what you'd expect from an economic powerhouse like Crossbell. <sighs> it's a big world out there. Still, we've got Milliam and Crow as classmates now. Crow opened up to us right from the start, and Milliam's become way more attached to us than I thought she would too. They were both able to form combat links. I had my concerns about how well they'd mesh with the clan. Summer heat. Hey, looks like I'm not too late to catch this week's oven time. Seems like those hot summer days keep coming with no end in sight, doesn't it? But even this heat can't stop the momentum behind the West Amuria Trade Conference being held in Crossbell. Prince Oliver and Chancellor Osborne will be in attendance for this watershed moment. <laughs> Personally, I'm more interested in the view from the top of that famous new skyscraper that- In some news closer to home, you all have probably noticed the summer showers we're getting here in Trista. Humidity right off the chart. It's nights like these, I wish I could smuggle an ice-cold beer into the studio. And the director is chilling over there, drinking hand- Anyway, for all you students out there, your summer vacation's probably wrapping up. Wait. I forgot that summer vacation at the military academy is still. It's never too late to do something bold that'll keep your memory. Hmm. And what about you, Miss Misty? You're probably asking yourself. Because fate had a romantic rendezvous in store for yours truly. A tryst with a young man in a park after sunset. Droplets of rain clinging to the grass. Or I would, if I hadn't just made it up on the spot. Still, maybe one day I'll feel the thrilling rush of a summer love. <laughs> Wait, is she talking about when I ran into her earlier tonight? She's got quite the playful personality. <laughs> it's kind of weird thinking that I just met her on the street a couple hours ago. Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two. Those? I didn't really think about it right then. Good to see you, boss. Oh, you're off the air. Well met, Comrade V. I see that you've finished all your preparations. Smooth as silk. Although you're the one who'll be taking center stage in our next operation. Who'd have thought you'd volunteer to go pound the pavement and cross them? The Red Constellation are gonna be there. I disagree. As I can no longer rely on the power of the flute, especially when you consider the very real possibility that we may have to accept a necessary sacrifice that is the best way for us to... Yes, sir. Uh, you really are too morose for your own good. Why else would you have willingly plunged yourselves... <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> you got us there. I see you've all gathered. 
Comrade C. Fashionably late. That makes it a full house. I appreciate your gathering, Comrade. The wheels have been set in motion. We seek or resort. I couldn't agree more. No objection. Goes without saying. That said, I will ask you what you want. Comrade G, are you certain this is the path you would walk? <laughs> My heart itself beats with the ideals of the Liberation Front. If my life should see its end in Crossbell, that tyrant must be stopped from creating the vile dystopia he seeks. If through our efforts we or anyone... Then well, may the goddess, or perhaps powers less fair, attend you. When this is over and our victory won in the Imperial capital. Indeed. Farewell, my comrade. He doesn't know how to express how he feels, but... Losing your place in the world for doing what's right, it ain't something I could do. Different paths brought each of us here. Let us depart, comrade S, comrade V. We each have our own part to play. Of course. Just leave it to us.